Hello, I'm Stephen Wilkinson from the Compost Tea Brewing Company in Perth, Western Australia. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you three different types of compost tea brewing equipment. And it's three different um, styles of making compost tea. So in the, the larger vessel we've got a vortex brewer. Now these are quite common in America. You'll see quite a lot of these um, videoed on YouTube, mainly in the States. Um, and I, what I've built here is a single pipe system. And the way the vortex brewer works is you feed air in from the, from the bottom of this, this pipe. And what it does, it, it lifts the water to the top of the tank. And then the head of the water pushes down and it's like a natural flowing system and it's, it's the idea is that it's it's more like a flowing water in a stream or a river and it's the natural flow that has apparently um, creates the organisms in your brew now what i did with this brewer i, I sat a, a very thin brew bag in the top of the vessel and I fed it with fish and kelp. Now I ran that for 24 hours, uh, had a look at the, the brew under a microscope, and I didn't really see a lot of microbial activity in this brewer after 24 hours. There were a few microbes, but I was quite disappointed as to the lack of them. Um, now the idea of a, a vortex brewer is that after 24 or 36 hours, you can drain off half of your brew, you can feed that to your plants and then you can re-top it up with second water that's been set for 24 hours and then you re-feed it with fish and kelp. You then let the vortex system work again for 24 or 36 hours and again you can continually use your brew so you don't have to clean the brew out at all. If you do make quite a large amounts of compost tea brews or the conventional system, you have to clean the tank out every couple of days, but it's quite time consuming. So the idea of the Borsak system is you run it continuously. However, I was very disappointed in the quality of the microbes that are found in this brew. So after um, after it and re brewed it again for 24 hours. I took another sample and I had a look at the microscope and there was fewer microbes in the brew than the initial brew. And I took a sample earlier today after it's been running continuously for five days and it was virtually dead. I couldn't see any microbes in this brew whatsoever. So personally I'm quite disappointed in this, this brewing system. Now we've got here is a smaller brewer. This is a 60 litre tank and this is our aeration disc technology tank. So we use a, an aeration disc. This has got a rubber membrane and it's got three, up to around 3,000 micro holes that are impregnated into this uh, rubber film. Now, we connect an air hose to the bottom of the, uh, the aeration disc and when you turn the air on the membrane it lifts up and then opens up the 3000 micro holes and that gives you a, an aerated water and brewing system and compared to the vortex brewer certainly the, the microbes um, have a lot more microbes in this brew and it's certainly a, a lot more effective brewer than the, than the vortex brewer. Now the third brewer we have a conical, this conical tank shape and I want to show that one to you now. So this is the third of our brews that I'm demonstrating to you, to you today. This is one of our regular cone bottom tanked uh, conical brewers. So this is the 150 litre version. We also make them in a commercial size as a 450 litre and a 1000 litre 
tank size. Now the design is the same, we just use different size pumps and different size pipe work in all the different size brewers. We, we feed the airline, the single airline, through the bottom of the tank. Now that's, that's fed into one of our special uh, aeration valves. Now the air comes down the centre of this valve and it's, the air is, is forced out to the outer edges of the tank. So it, it offers a complete aeration of this vessel um, starting from the bottom and then the air moves all the way around the, the tank completely. So the great benefit of that is there's no dead spots, um, you can't, can't go anaerobic, unlike the IBC containers that I mentioned earlier. Another benefit of the cone-shaped tanks is they're easy to clean, unlike some of the other brewers that can take a long time to dismantle, take apart. This is actually very, very minimum um, parts to, to make this brewer, and it's a very effective brewer as well. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this brewer on now and demonstrate to you what it looks like in, in, in working order and then we're going to look at some specimens under the microscope with the 6 litre uh, aerated disc brewer and with this brewer. I'm not going to um, look at the sample again with the Vortex brewer. As I said, there was no microbial activity in that brewer for five days. So I'll just turn this pump on now and I'll show you what it's like in, in working order. So I've come into our microscope room now and we're going to have a look at the microbes under one of our microscopes. So this is our BN2000 microscope, this is one of our professional range scopes and we've got a 5 megapixel microscope digital camera affixed to the microscope so you'll be able to see the microbes on your computer monitor and I'm going to record some video to show you what the microbes look like. So the first specimen I prepared here is taken from the 60 litre aerated compost brewer and we're going to have a look at the microbes at 200 times magnification. Now I can see a lot of ciliates under the microscope here. And now I'm going to put the specimen under the microscope taken from the 150 litre cone shaped bottom tank. Now I'm going to use a 400 times magnification power on this specimen, that's a 40 times objective. And again we're seeing a lot of ciliates in this particular brew. So I would say my conclusion would be that looking at the specimens here, the, the 60 litre 
air rated brewer looks like it's got on average more microbes in it in the brew um, but we can only make that brewer in a small size uh, due to the size of the aeration disc and the vessel uh, now your commercial brewers are your 150 your 450 and your 1000 litre brewers um, not a lot of difference in the amount of microbes we did see uh, under the microscope now we did use exactly the same uh, batch of compost and the fish and kelp were the same so my analogy would be that the both brewers do make a very good uh, quality compost tea brew so thank you for watching this video today and for more information please visit our website composttbrewing.com.au